good morning to you today we will continue with financial emergency under article 360 of the constitution in the last class we have seen how the financial emergency is to be approved by the both the houses of parliament and the validity is 2 months and it is once approved it will continue indefinitely we have compared with the 352 and 356 what is the difference we have seen today we will see the effects of financial emergency number 1 the executive powers of the union will extend to giving directions to any state to observe the principles of financial propriety as deemed necessary by the president these directions may include two specific points what are they number 1 reduction of salaries of all persons or any class of persons serving in the state number 2 to reserve all money bills and financial bills for consideration of president of president after passage of the legislatures of the states that is if any bill is passed by the legislature the it should be reserved for consideration by president which bills all money bills and financial bills this will be reserved for consideration by president and in addition to these two directions with regard to the states the president may also direct for reduction of salaries and allowances of all persons and of all class of persons serving in the union including the judges of supreme court and high court remember so three categories two categories for the states that is reduction of salaries of all class of persons serving in the state number 1 number 2 the money bills and financial bills which have been passed by the state legislatures have to be reserved for consideration by president these two relate to the states and as far as union is concerned they have to issue instructions to with regard to the reduction of salaries and allowances of all persons serving in the union including judges of supreme court and high court these are all the three directions to be issued by president with regard to the principles of financial propriety this article more or less follows the same pattern of national recovery act of usa which was passed in 1933 in the face of the great depression of 1930 so when the 1930 depression happened they passed more or less the same act that is called the national recovery act of usa passed in 1933 in the face of the great depression 1930 remember keynes dig the well and fill the well so this is the situation 1930 at the time the same type of law was passed that has been taken in the financial emergency no financial emergency has been declared in our country so far remember the language of the article 360 is totally you know vague in the sense they simply say the the principles of financial propriety should be communicated what is the principle it has not been laid down and whatever is placed on the table of the house the members of the parliament have to agree you know it is a very difficult situation so instead of becoming panicky and making the people more panicky we should think coolly what is to be done because that is the reason in spite of the fact that there was slowdown 1991 in our country 1991 gross slowdown then 2008 2011 and 12 and even now we are not declaring the national this what is called financial emergency so far because once you declare that you are bankrupt no country will give you loan because your capacity to repay will be in doubt 
once your country's ratings are down then the it is gone your your economy will gone so instead of creating panicky and the moment the people become panicky they will withdraw all the money from the bank see the maharashtra bank and see the all nbfcs so to stop this you should keep a you know very cool mindset when the financial condition or the economic conditions are bad so this is what national emergency now Uh, the fact is even though they we have faced uh, financial emergency i mean uh, emergency situation financial emergency situa- situation 1991 2008 2011 and 12 the country never proclaimed financial emergency but remember at the same time we have taken the measures like fixed deposit compulsory deposit scheme putting all arrears of da in the provident fund freezing of ltc freezing of reimbursement reimbursement of medical expenses even now 30% of salary deduction for the constitutional authorities of course voluntarily and all the government servants have been requested to donate to the prime minister national fund or pm care fund so these are all the measures normally taken during financial emergency without declaring financial emergency we have taken these measures so what i want to emphasize is financial emergency has not been declared so far in our country with the prudence not because they did not understand the seriousness with the prud abundant prudence they have reserved this without being declared that is the point you should remember so to sum up remember we have seen three types of emergency in part 18 of the constitution one is national emergency and article 352 second is state emergency and article 356 and financial emergency and article 360 the national emergency as you know is imposed on the threat to the country threat to the security the threat to the security of the country due to three factors war external aggression and armed rebellion either whole of india or part of india remember secondly this proclamation is to be approved within one month by both the houses of parliament such a proclamation is valid only for 6 months the approval is to be by special majority it can be renewed for indefinite period every 6 months by similar procedure by similar special majority total federal character is destroyed and the country becomes unitary one during the national emergency under article 352 on the other hand state emergency under article 356 is imposed in a state where the state administration is not run in accordance with the provisions of the constitution it can be imposed only on the basis of the report of the governor sr bombay versus union of india this should be approved by both the houses of parliament within 2 months and valid for 6 months initially and the approval of by similar majority is necessary this can remain in force initially for 1 year another 2 years through 4 6 monthly extension can be done if there is a national emergency in vogue either whole of india or part of india and the election commission certifies that it is not conducive to hold the election in the state so the maximum period is only 3 years very important factor unlike national emergency which is indefinite the approval in 356 is simple majority unlike national emergency where it is special majority the impact is only in the particular state unlike the national emergency where the impact is whole of india fundamental rights are not affected in president rule unlike national emergency where article 19 is suspended and 32 in respect of all rights except 2021 unlike national emergency and state emergency the country has not been tested the financial emergency so far though all the measures including reduction of salaries which are normally taken only during financial emergency 
have been imposed without declaring financial emergency for the simple reason that if you declare such an emergency the credibility will be very low about our country ambedkar himself has admitted that the mysteries of emergency provisions cannot be ruled out in these circumstances eternal vigilance of the people is the price which should be paid for our democracy so this is what i want to tell about the three types of emergency we have seen all the three types and we have seen how the emergencies are impacting the national scene some president rule only particular state national emergency in respect of whole of country financial emergency of course whole of country but it has not been proclaimed so far in our country thank you we will continue with other class subsequently